The flip side is that there were Americans on the ground in Smyrna that had a much more heartfelt and humanitarian position towards what was unfolding in front of their eyes. Asa Jennings is one individual, an American missionary who had gone to Smyrna and had been involved in the American educational uh, institutions there in Smyrna. Asa Jennings, a, a respectable, faith-centered individual who, regardless of whether you, uh, how one feels about, you know, the presence of missionaries in Asia Minor among Orthodox Christians, he's there supporting educational institutions, mainly for orphans. And he is perhaps one of the great heroes of this catastrophe, of this, the end of the genocide of the Armenian people and certain Greek pe peoples in Asia Minor. How can this problem be solved? Well, another amazing thing occurs. Jennings uh, meets a Greek ship captain, the commander of the ship Kilkis. His name was Theophanides. And he works with Jennings to communicate with the Greek government about um, making use of the Greek shipping. Well, the Greek government is not cooperative. It's fearful that the ships will be seized by the Turks. Um, but Jennings, telling some untruths, making some threats that he didn't really have, he was not in a position to enforce. He, he made it look like the American Navy was willing to help in this rescue effort and so forth. He managed to bring the Greek government around. Uh, he takes the bull by the horn, literally, and gets the U.S. government um, to agree to encourage and to allow the Greek government to send in ships. The Greek government had plenty of ships that they could send into Smyrna, into the bay, and to gather um, the refugees that are on the quay and that have been there for a week without food, without adequate water, um, basically crammed in as sardines. My grandfather went to Captain Ionis Theophanidis, explained his plight, and Theophanidis agreed to help. So my grandfather started writing messages on the station or the ship. Then the captain translated those into Greek and the messages were taken to the radio room where they were put into code and sent to Athens. And first the message came back, well, the prime minister's sleeping, we can't waken him. My grandfather had seven days. Wake him up, wake him up. <laughs> so there was delay, delay, delay. And finally the decision came back, no, you cannot have ships. Now my grandfather, in partnership, really, with Captain Ionis Theophanidis, blackmailed the Greek government. And the blackmail was, if you don't give us those ships, the next message will not be in code. We will broadcast openly so the whole world will know you, the Greek government, allow the Turks to kill 300,000 Greeks. That's blackmail. So now we have a Methodist minister in the blackmail business. He's already been bribing, now he's going to blackmail. <laughs> it was an extraordinary, extraordinary piece of diplomacy or, or sleight of hand even. At the same time, Halsey Powell, this American commander at Smyrna, is busy negotiating with the Turkish command about finding some way to release the refugees for a rescue effort. Asa Jennings, along with Halsley Powell, are two of the great heroes of the catastrophe of 1922, the fire and the burning of Smyrna of 1922. As one looks back 100 years ago, and there have been some really good studies uh, and historians have done a really good job of trying to unearth the events that led up to and the events as they unfolded in Smyrna at this time 100 years ago. It's clear that two Americans stand out uh, who risked their lives, certainly, um, but even also their reputations um, to come to the aid of the impoverished, the sick, 
uh, the parched, uh, the beaten, the psychologically, emotionally damaged people of Smyrna. So we have um, Powell negotiating with the Turks for the release of the refugees at Smyrna. And we have Jennings at Mytilene negotiating with the Greek government successfully to get Greek shipping to bring to Smyrna. It looks like there's going to be a plan. But Ataturk laid down some conditions. He said, number one, if you have ships come here, no Greek flags. Because if you have a Greek flag, that will enrage the Turkish population and create violence. That sounds reasonable. So no Greek flags. Okay. Number two, no men of military age defined as 17 to age 45 can leave because the Turks did not want them coming back as an invading army. You can understand that, but that turned out to be a very unfortunate condition because those men were never seen again, most of them, very few escaped. And so a whole generation of Greeks and Armenians expired. It's a crime against humanity. As the Greek ships led by the work of Asa Jennings are now entering into the, har the harbor at Smyrna. Asa Jennings is literally standing at the helm of the first ship as he leads this flotilla of Greek ships coming into the harbor to, ref to rescue the refugees. He's not an adm admiral. He doesn't have military, um, uh, any military, uh, you know, okay to do this other than go ahead, uh, you've got the American backing to at least defend these Greek ships to come in. And here is this remarkable humanitarian who knew that if something wasn't done quickly, that many, many thousands more Smyrnians, Greeks, Armenians, Jews would die. We need to get them out of Turkey to bring peace to the Turkish people. And Ataturk, whose whole life was war, and he had seen the devastation to his country, agreed. The knees buckled of the Greek government and they ordered 26 ships put under the command of my grandfather, who had never been in the military. So the first thing they did is they took the Greek flags down on those ships and they put up the American flag. These are now American ships. And they went to the port. And I should tell you another part of that is Commanding officers of those ships did not want to go to a Turkish port, and so they all had excuses. My boiler doesn't work, this or that. So Captain Ionis Theophanidis ordered all the captains on board the battleship, Greek battleship Kilkis, and he informed him, any captain not ready to sail by midnight tonight will be court-martialed and executed on the fantail of the Kilkis the next morning. Tough. He is the great Greek hero. He's the one all Greeks should honor today. And no Greek knows his name. It's a travesty. Powell tells Jennings, bring the ships to Smyrna. So a long line of Greek ships makes its way towards Smyrna. And Powell meets those ships with an American destroyer. All of the Greek shipping were flying no flags. The uh, American destroyer, of course, is flying the American flag. And it led this line of Greek ships into Smyrna Harbor. It was quite a sight. And of course, the quay is lined with people who are destitute. They're dying, they're sick, and they see that a rescue is about to occur. It must have been quite a sight to see this. Well, the Turkish command gave Powell and Jennings seven days to remove, you know, more than 200,000 people. It seemed an impossibility. There were no logistics for this. There was one pier and, and the Turkish uh, army insisted on examining everybody, having them pass single file through a line before they got on the ships. They were only going to allow women, children, and old men to depart Smyrna. They were keeping all of the Greek men of, of military age, and, and that was basically 16 to say 50. And in Smyrna, they were either gonna be killed or they were gonna be sent to work gangs. As those ships came into the port, all these desperate people on the wharf saw these ships with the American flag coming in, into the port, and great jubilation, people were cheering and crying and carrying on. And over the course of seven days, 
a miracle occurred. All 200 and some thousand people who were allowed to leave, women, children, old men, were shuttled 24 hours, ships back and forth from Smyrna to Mytilene. And by the last day of September, which was the deadline that the Turkish army had given Powell, uh, the rescue was complete. So it's really an, it's a, it's an extraordinary story. Many thousands and thousands of people died, but many thousands and thousands of people also were rescued from Smyrna as a consequence of the cooperation and the work of Asa Jennings, this American pastor, disabled, and Halsey Powell, this very capable and respected naval commander. <laughs>